Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And today I have a treat for you because I am swatching and testing out some new shades from Lisa Eldridge. She released some new velvet lipsticks as well as some new lip liners to go with her new eyeshadow palette. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of shades to match up with the eyeshadow palettes that I picked up as well as the matching lip pencils. But I also have some shades from her summer launch that I didn't share with you guys. So I figured I could just combine all of those into one video. They're gonna be three different formulations. So we have the True Velvet Matte Lipsticks, which is her original matte lipstick formula. But during the summer, as I mentioned, she launched the insanely saturated lip colors in some vibrant shades. You're gonna see those as well as the luxuriously lucent lip colors, which are a little bit more of a tinted balm, very hydrating, glossy formulation. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So as usual with my videos, I like to give you some information about the products before we jump into the swatches and I'll try to run through these details pretty quickly. So like I said, there are three different formulations of the lipsticks that I will be trying out for you in this video. And each of these retail for $36, so there's no price difference among the formulations. And they contain 3.5 grams of product or 0.12 ounce. They're made in Italy and have an intended usage life of 18 months. They come in this beautiful signature Lisa Eldridge cardboard packaging, which is white with gold lettering and her beautiful monogram lip logo. Love it. Ingredient details are also on the boxes as well as manufacturing details and the shade name is on the top. But what we're really interested in is the packaging, which again is the same across all the formulations. So they each come in these beautiful gold bullet tubes. Stunning. They are magnetized, right? And then on the bottom we have a gold label with black writing indicating the shade name, size and information and manufacturing details. And then inside we have this beautiful gold insert and you twist up to reveal the lipstick bullet which depending on the finish will either have an embossing with the Lisa Eldridge logo or you'll have this flocked finish for the velvet mattes which makes it look like a true velvet material. It's absolutely stunning. So I love the packaging and again they're magnetized which is a little bit tricky to store if you store them next to each other because they will try to repel and you can't line them up because of that magnet. I find that a little bit tricky, but they're gorgeous. I absolutely love this packaging. We also have the Enhance and Define Lip Pencils. These retail for $27 a piece and they contain 1.2 grams or 0.04 ounces. These are made in Germany and have an intended usage life of 24 months. The lip pencils also come in the signature white cardboard box with the gold lettering with all the details that you would need on the box itself. And the lip pencil is the signature gold finish of the Lisa Eldridge packaging. Again, we have printed details on the pencil such as the shade name, the sizing, and the manufacturing information. At the end of the pencil, you also have this color-coded cap that will tell you what shade is included. The cap is a beautiful brush gold as well, and it removes to reveal the pencil inside, which you do have to sharpen. This is not a wooden pencil. It's more of that waxy material that still requires sharpening, but it is not a twist up. And the cap fits pretty securely in place, without popping off easily so you can rest assured that it won't come off if you toss it in your bag or even in your collection where it can expose the product to air and cause it to dry out. Now I'm going to read some information about these products so you can get a little bit more detail starting out with the Enhance and Define Lip Pencil. These are available in the same shades as the lip colors but are deeper in intensity 
for an extra defined look. The Luxury Pencil adds extra depth to your lips, making them look fuller and defined to perfection. The Lip Pencils are a gel formula that glides on smoothly and easily to even the driest lips. Once set, they're completely smudge and waterproof, which is great to hear, especially for a lip pencil. We want it to be long lasting. Now let me tell you more about the lipstick formulas. As I said, there are three different formulations, so I'm going to do them each individually. First up is the original True Velvet Lip Color. It says here, paint your lips as an artist would with these highly pigmented True Velvet lipsticks. Described as a phenomenon, a work of art. Each bullet has the appearance of beautifully plush velvet fabric that has to be seen to be believed. These are matte lipsticks revolutionized with a saturated technicolor formulation and a creamy texture with a slight sheen that's 3D and luscious, not a flat matte. So intensely pigmented, it's easy to create a one swipe graphic lip statement or pat gently for the ultimate subtle lip stain. Cutting Edge Lab Tech has enabled the creation of a very long wearing non drying cream that feels lightweight, silky, and comfortable to wear. Then we have the insanely saturated lip colors that launched this summer. So it says here, this full on deliciously creamy full coverage lip color glides seamlessly on the lips and delivers a weightless, luminous, demi-matte finish in one swipe. Make a statement with the electrifying, glamorous paint box of rainbow brights and insouciant, pouty pinks of the insanely saturated lip color range. And then we have the luxuriously lucent lip colors, which is back by popular demand. This easy to wear creamy formula is a sheer moisturizing lipstick with a balmy feel. Luxuriously lucent lip color is a sheer to semi sheer buildable coverage lipstick with a satin finish delivering in one swipe you can also build a color to create a more radiantly polished look this ultra modern comfortable and luxurious texture feels smooth light and pleasurable on the lips now let's jump into the swatches and show you these shades up close and personal because I know that's what you're waiting for and I'm gonna start out with the luxuriously lucent lip colors first since those are the more sheer formulation I'll bump it up to the older release from summer of the insanely saturated lip colors which I'm in love with and then move into the newer shades of the true velvet matte lipsticks that recently launched and then we will wrap up with my final thoughts so first up for the luxuriously lucent shades we have painterly and it says here paint your lips with this chiaroscuro tint inspired by age-old artist pigments a deep mauvey chocolate hue with a blue undertone enhances lip tone for a just bitten look and this shade is exactly that. It's more on the mauve side, so there's like a hint of neutral undertones to it, but it doesn't wash my complexion out at all. And it's not like a rich, deep chocolate on my skin tone. It actually looks like my lip color, but a little bit better. And it definitely has that lightweight, glossy feel to it. Then we have Spirited Away, which is described as a very modern rosewood, which traverses the color spectrum from brown to red to pink with a warm undertone underscoring. Enhancing natural lip tone with a touch of vibrancy to make the whites of your eyes brighter and your whole face pop with a healthy glow. Now this color is stunning. It has a little bit more of a warm pinky feel to it and it's stunning again. It looks like my lips but a little bit better. But this one is a little bit warmer in feel, a little bit rosier than painterly. And then last up we have Meet Me in Berlin. This is a deliciously rich tan shade which delivers to various intensities as a brown nude across all skin tones. Inspired by a shoe that Lisa worked on in East Berlin in the early 2000s, there's a hint of avant-garde and counterculture feel to this one. And this one is the deepest of the three shades that I picked up from the Luxuriously Lucent line and it is more richly pigmented. It also has that deeper almost 90s cool girl vibe to it and I really love it. But as you can see from these three shades, 
they're not that much different. There may be a slight undertone variation, but they're not significantly different where I think you would need all three shades. Especially if you have pigmented lips like I do, you don't see like a full color impact. So I just pick my favorite of these three shades and run with it. Now let's jump into the insanely saturated lip colors. And I have three shades that I picked up, starting out with Strawberry Shock. This is a sun-filtered red that hides a dash of shocking punk pink extremity at its heart. A bright, shouty, strawberry daiquiri hue that instantly energizes a true Goldilocks of bright reds. It's neither too cool or too warm. And this color is exactly that. It is such an intense, bright, watermelon pink. It's in your face. It's not for the tame of heart at all. It's such a fun, bold summer color. I absolutely love this. It has that more watermelon, corally pink feel to it rather than being a true red on my complexion and I'm absolutely in love with it. Then we have Rainbow Spill, which I had to get this color. It says here, this iconic fan favorite is back. The brightest watermelon pink imaginable with a muted pastel neon edge. It has to be seen to be believed. As one of my customers said, no camera can truly do it justice. And that is true. This color is intense and it has a neon pink quality to it that can be a little bit scary, but it is so eye-catching that I couldn't say no to it and it is intensely bold. You can tame it with a deeper lip liner but I just wear it full on fluorescent pink on my lips. I don't care, it's stunning. I absolutely love this shade. I think it is so fantastic for the summertime. And then last up, we have New Wave, which is described as an unashamedly bold magenta. Modern yet classic, subversive yet soft. With its cool blue undertones, this statement cyclamen shade is shot through with edgy glamour and electronica chic. And this shade is such a beautiful blue tone, purpley magenta that just somehow works on my complexion. It is cool tone and it has those purpley hues to it, but it is so wearable and beautiful. Again, it's a statement color, so it's not for the tame of heart, but I really love this shade as well. Now let's jump into the three new True Velvet Matte Lipsticks that I picked up from the recent expansion. And I have the matching Enhance and Define Lip Pencils as well. And in these swatches, I'm going to line half my lips with the lip pencil so you can see the lip pencil on its own as well as paired with the lipstick, but you'll also get a feel for the lipstick without the lip liners. And this way you can decide whether or not it's worth it to you to get the matching lip pencil, which as Lisa said, is going to be slightly deeper than the lip shade itself. And I'll start out with the shade that I have been wearing throughout this video. This is Saucery Lip Pencil paired with Velvet Saucery Lip Color. So the lip colors are prefixed with velvet to indicate the finish. I'm not going to keep repeating velvet it, I'll just use the name as it stands with the lip pencil and the lip color. So under Saucery it says this bewitching medium dusky clay rose borrows a little cool tone mauve magic from the 90s, the indie it girl of the true velvets. And this shade is truly a beautiful kind of warm tone rosy brown. It doesn't lean very cool on my complexion, in fact it looks a little bit caramelly a little bit warmer, a little bit peachy, but with that rosy vibe to it, and it's absolutely stunning. The lip pencil is just slightly deeper to give a little bit of definition to the outer lip line, but I think it matches really perfectly with the lip color, and you can pair it with other lip colors in your collection as well, because I think it just works well as a nude lip liner, but this color, Absolutely stunning, a great nude on my complexion. Then we have Enchantment. This beguiling and wild muted red matter rose is a classic fairy tale in a lip color. Like a rush of blood to the lips, this instantly beautifying hue with its mix of cool and warm undertones is the most effortlessly wearable of all the reds. And this shade is a beautiful, like muted, rosy coral shade, I would say. I don't really see it as a red tone on my complexion. It reads more as a rose tone with a hint of coral to it, and it's really stunning. It's a beautiful, subdued, wearable color, and if you're afraid of reds or the bold reds that Lisa has in her lineup, 
This one might be one for you to check out because it definitely is a wearable, beautiful color. And then we're gonna wrap up with what is probably my most favorite shade of red from Lisa Eldridge. This is Duchess. It is a clear, clean, deep red garnet, so sumptuous, it's almost scandalous. Velvet Duchess is a fresh twist on the 1940s red favored by royalty. Deeper than velvet ribbon, purer than velvet jazz, the blue undertones of this fearless suits everyone instant classic is sure to get people talking. And this is such a stunning deep blood red. It has blue undertones so your teeth will look extremely white. But um, excuse me, this color is probably my perfect true blood vampy red. I love this shade so much. Velvet Ribbon from her line is a brighter red. It's very neon, but this color is a statement red. It's sexy, it's sultry, it's so classic. I absolutely love it. So there you have it. Those are all the shades of the lip liners that I recently picked up, as well as the new True Velvet lip colors that match up with her eyeshadow palettes, as well as some of the luxuriously lucent shades and the insanely saturated lip colors that I picked up over the summer. Now let's go ahead and jump into my final thoughts because I know you want to hear what I have to say about these lip colors. Okay, listen, okay? Listen, Linda, listen, listen. I love these lipsticks so much. They're one of my favorite formulas of lipstick on the market, hands down. The True Velvet formula from Lisa Eldridge probably ties with my favorite matte formula of all time, which is the Gucci matte lipsticks. The only difference I would say with the Lisa Eldridge formulation is that they break a little easier and I don't appreciate that. So you do have to baby them a little bit, especially the insanely saturated lip colors, which is a slightly different formulation. It's packed with more pigment, so it is a little bit more fragile. So be careful with them. But this formulation is very comfortable. It glides on really well, has great pigmentation. I mean, the opacity is there. It's comfortable, it's not drying, it doesn't feel tight, it doesn't settle into lines, and I do have lines on my lips. It's just a really comfortable and beautiful formula. I absolutely love it. The price point, $36 is a little bit steep, but my Gucci lipsticks are $42, so I'll spend that money on the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. Absolutely love them. And then the shades that are available, stop it right now. I think that's where Lisa Eldridge kind of edges out Gucci a little bit because she is so thoughtful when it comes to curating these colors and selecting them and really making sure they work with all skin tones and these are so pretty. I can't get enough. These are stunning and each shade that she adds just makes me want to go out and grab all of them. She has nude shades, she has pinks and corals and she has deeper vampy shades as well as these beautiful reds. There is a red for everyone in her line and I love that about her collection. Absolutely stunning. I would definitely recommend the velvet matte lipsticks as well as the insanely saturated lip colors. I think the formulations are very similar, but the insanely saturated lip colors are just a little bit more vibrant. They're definitely more punchy colors. So if you're looking for a statement color for like the summertime, definitely pick up one of those shades. But if you're a little bit more tame, stick to the true velvets. As for the luxuriously lucent formula, this one, it's a little bit iffy because they're more on the sheer side, which I don't necessarily think you need to spend that much on a lip balmy kind of sheer lipstick, but they're really beautiful. And if you get a color that you just vibe with, I think these are really gorgeous as well. So if you don't mind splurging, spending a little bit extra on a color that's not gonna necessarily be impactful right away, but it's still a very comfortable and beautiful formula, then I say definitely go ahead and check those out as well. The lip pencils, are also amazing and she has such beautiful shades in these and they match up with her lip pencils so if you're looking for a great lip pencil formula that's creamy glides on really well doesn't drag at all isn't drying but still stays in place and is budge proof smudge proof definitely check these out they're a little bit pricey I'm not gonna lie but I regret nothing. I love these as well. I love the packaging of everything. Like everything is so elegantly done. 
and then the website which is where you would pick these up they're only available through her website you're able to see swatches on a variety of skin tones so you can see how these would probably look on someone that's similar to your complexion and I find that the swatches are pretty true to color so what you see is what you get and I was able to choose my shades based on how they look on the models because there are two models that are right around my complexion and I just go between the two of them to see if the shade looks great on them and I'm like yeah that can definitely look great on me so I think the website is just really well done and you have great swatches to choose from the shipping is really great again their distribution centers in the US so you get your products pretty quickly I have not had an issue with shipping I get my products within three to five days unless they're like swamped like with a new launch there was a little bit of delay with one of my palettes but other than that I have experienced really great customer service and shipping from the company and sometimes you can get a little bonus so I got one of these velvet pouches well I have a couple to be honest you get this free with a purchase of three items so I was able to snag a couple of these but these are only available while quantities last so keep that in mind and you can also pick them up individually under her accessories list if you wanted to just grab the pouch maybe you thought they were beautiful she also has this beautiful like velvet green one I think I got a red one as well they're just stunning lip bags so it's great to get them with your purchase but overall, I just think these lip products are amazing. They have a great wear time as well. They're pretty long lasting and comfortable and they're just stunning. The impact, I mean, you can automatically tell that you're wearing a Lisa Eldridge True Velvet lip color. I was watching Wednesday on Netflix, right? That new series and the principal, she wears this beautiful red lipstick. I'm not good with names, so I'm not gonna tell you who the actress is, but the principal, right? She's from Game of Thrones also. She is wearing this beautiful red throughout the series and I'm just dying, right? I'm gagging, I'm like, oh my God, I need to know what red that is. And in the back of my head, I'm like, I know Lisa Eldridge probably has a color like that, right? Lo and behold, Lisa mentions on her Instagram that they use velvet ribbon for the principal's lip color. And I was like, I knew it, I knew it. And I have my version of that now in Velvet Duchess because this is so stunning. So let me know what you guys think. Have you picked up any of her lip colors? Are you interested? Was this video helpful? I also have other shades from her line that I didn't swatch in this video that I can swatch if you guys are interested. I also have a few more of the lip liners as well as the lip glosses. Listen, okay, I go ham on Lisa Eldridge's website because she makes some of, again, my favorite lip formulations. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys to maybe go over there and check out some colors for yourself because I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Just be a little bit careful about how you apply them, like twist them up just like so and apply them. Don't like go ham and twist them too far up because they will break easily, especially the insanely saturated lip color, which I was able to get a replacement from Lisa Eldridge again with the customer service. I was able to get a replacement, so I'm happy with that. That is all I have to say about that. Again, hopefully this video was helpful. I'll go ahead and leave links to my Instagram and Twitter as well where you can follow me along as well as the Lisa Eldridge website down below where you can pick these up. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.